Hey everyone and welcome back to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. So today I'll show you how to use chaos scans to get some realistic materials inside of 3ds Max. So I just have this basic scene with some cloth simulation. And to access the chaos scans library, just go to chaosgroup.com and log into your account. Then click on downloads. And here you have the chaos scans. Click on that and this is how you access the library. So there are hundreds if not thousands of materials under different categories. You have plastic, leather, wood. I will let you to you know go through this and see everything that's here. You can also sort them by material color, by the area that you're in, so architecture, automotive, product. So for this material here, I actually use this leather red. And I'll show you how to change the color to black or any other color. So if you want to use this exact leather material, I'll put the link in the description. So just download that. So then you can just open your material editor and you want to scroll down to V-Ray scanned material. Right, so we need to use this specific material. The regular V-Ray material will not work. And here you can just click on file and load in the material that you just downloaded. And we can just assign that to our cloth here and see what that looks like. So it is working, however, the tiling is wrong, right? It's too big. So Chaos actually has a feature for that called adjust UV tiling to an object because when they scan these materials, they actually take note of how big they are and how big they should be on your object, depending on your scene scale. So you can just click on adjust UV tiling to an object and it will give you a picker. So just click on the cloth. And if you scroll down here, you can see it will automatically adjust the tiling. So it was one by one and now it's 10.1 by 9.2. And now we're getting this beautiful, properly scaled uh, material on top of our cloth and we're getting that nice detail to show up already. So now you just have a few settings here that you can do to adjust how this looks. Number one, you can make it two sided, right? So right now the back polygons are actually just black. It's only the front polygons that are shaded, but you can make it two sided. Um, to get it to show up on the back side as well. If you're using a transparent material, you can also disable the transparency to potentially speed up the rendering considerably. Now to change the color of the material, first you have to remember that this is not your regular V-Ray material. This is a scanned uh, material. So your options are a bit limited here for how much you can change the look of it. So first you have the filter color, which acts more as an overall post effect. It's basically like tint in After Effects, if you're familiar with that. So if I change the color of this to, let's say, um, blue, it will change the color of everything, including the reflections. So you can see the reflections of the material are actually turning blue as well, because it's basically tinting um, the whole thing. So instead of filter color, we're actually going to use paint color. So paint color is better because it actually maintains the reflections of the material intact and it leaves the texture intact. It only changes the base color, basically the diffuse. So if I change this now, you can see that the reflections are beautifully remaining white and we're also maintaining the texture in the material. We're only changing the overall color. So I can make this blue and in my example, I made it black. So I'll just do that. So I'll just make it pure black. So here you go. This is basically our final result exactly the way I had it in the thumbnail except here I changed the lighting. So I'm using the V-Ray Sun which is tinting it a bit orange. Here I made it sort of just clear sky but I mainly just wanted to show you how to load in and use the V-Ray scans. So definitely go through the library and play around and see all the different materials that are here. This is extremely useful and it works very very well. The detail is amazing. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot more V-Ray tutorials on the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.